and welcome back to Lupini Builds. Um, today I'm going to show you my Bugatti Type 57 SC from 1939. Beautiful motor car, beautiful unusual shape to the back of this car. Look at how the wheels, all of it, it looks like it's doing 100 miles an hour just standing still. So this car is built in aluminium, brass, lead, copper, carbon fiber. I've got uh, sponge rubber wheels. Um, I've got lead headlights and so and the, and the trim across the bottom of the top of the car like that to create that detail that the real car has also done in lead all handmade so this car has been made built from scratch um, to resemble the real car uh, download drawings off the internet and some of the parts are uh, hand beaten some of them are just bent to shape I've got the beautiful radiator here in front and I've actually made the uh, Ettore Bugatti detail logos on each of the hubcaps on the four sides. Um, so the idea of this model is to depict or to demonstrate or to show the beautiful lines of this car and I think that it needed to be built because it's one of those iconic cars that not many were made. Crazy stuff. But yeah, this is the type of vehicle I believe inside was beautifully engineered just like the modern Bugattis are today. So, let's get into some more details. I'm going to do some close-ups, so don't go away. Right, so some details about our Bugatti Atlantic SC. Um, the scale here is about 112. You can see it's about 400 millimeters long. Um, if you'll see here, the wheels, the hub of the wheel, uh, has been done in carbon fiber. They were black on the original car and so the spinners on the wheels on the hubcaps have got the EB um, logo on and so does the radiator in front. It has an actual little CNC cutout badge that fits in front there. And so also what I did with this model uh, you'll see that there's a division down the center of the car inside which you can really see as I turn the model and shape it in various directions, you will see it inside there. And that kind of, when you, it made it so that when you looked at this car from one side, you didn't see all the way through to create the confusion of the other side and seeing the wheels in, a, in an odd place. So when you look at this car from the side, you're going to literally see the actual side of the car and not just a confusing bunch of wires. So, um, yeah, so originally started with a set of drawings plan it out, you do the profile of the car first and then you take the shape of the wire off the original drawing and you place them here, you need to work with the jig, it takes time but it really turns out to be a work of passion and I think that the end result is really stunning. I hope you like it and uh, I'll be showing you some more models so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.